We just read it. Keep the commandments. Jonah. The Bible says I got to do what to get into heaven? Jonah. The Bible says I have to do what to get into heaven? Keep the commandments. Oh, uh, you look like you don't want to do that thing. Commandments are grievous to you, brother. Why are you walking away for? Come deal with us, bro. What we got to do across the street? My brother with the, with the hat on. What we got to do to get to eternal life? Right, but what do we got to do? We just read it. Those things are good, but I need somebody. Those words are too big for me. I, you got to make it simple for me. You understand? You got to make it simple so I can understand. So what, what's your question? My question is, how do I get eternal life? How do I get the kingdom? Okay, you get eternal life by eating the flesh and drinking the blood of the Son of You're man. going super deep on me again, man. Me I don't know nothing. You tell me I got to eat some flesh and drink some blood? That's how I get the kingdom? Come on, down. man. man you, you understand that, EJ? I'm going to break it down, though. All right, break it down for me. Okay. John 6.48 says, I'm the bread of life that comes down from heaven. The Father takes the man in the wilderness and then die. But I'm the bread of life that comes down from heaven. Anyone what do I got to do? What's your name? King. King. To get the kingdom of God, what must I do? So I eat the flesh, I drink the blood. Are you married? Right. You're not married. All right. You got kids? Yeah. All right. I eat the flesh, I drink the blood, right? How old are your children? My daughter, 18. You got an 18 year old daughter, right? Yeah. I eat the flesh, I drink the blood. Right? I have sex with your daughter, then I don't marry her. I'm getting the kingdom? This is hypothetical now. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't getting the kingdom now. Why? Because you probably gonna put me to death. You understand what I'm saying? So make, make it make it plain for me. What I gotta do to get the kingdom of God? Well, they say mercy child's on the judgment, man. The measure you get, the measure you get. You know what I'm saying? If, you, if, you, if you're a bad person, man. Yeah, you gotta keep your man. And then when I tell you you gotta eat the flesh and drink the blood, it says most should not say to you. You don't eat the flesh and drink the blood of the Son of Man, you don't have eternal life. First of all, you gotta know what the flesh and blood is. What's the flesh and blood? What I gotta do? You don't want me to tell you what that is. What I gotta do? You know, I'm gonna tell you what the flesh and blood is. I'm gonna make it simple for you. I'm gonna show you what repentance is. Get Ephesians chapter 4, verse 28. Is that what I want? I'm gonna make it real, real simple for you, alright? I'm gonna, because the flesh and the blood, that's Christ, alright? Let's just make it plain. That's what you're talking about. Right? right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's what you're talking about, right? Christ. That's what you're talking about. You're saying I gotta take on Christ. You understand? That's all you're saying right now. So EJ, that's what he's saying. He's saying that you have to take on Christ in order to get the kingdom. I agree with you, but I need you to make it plain for me because there's a lot of people out here, right, that hasn't read the Bible as many times as you have. Right? Is that it? Yes, that's it. Yep. Read that, please. Repentance. Right. This is what we're talking about. You understand? That's why I said repent and be baptized for the remission of But you're not making it plain for me, though. Oh, I'm going to make it real plain right now. We're going to read out of the same book you quote. We're just going to go somewhere else. All right? Read. The book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 28. Read. Let him that stole. That did what? That stole. That did what? That stole. You understand what a thief is, right? Come on. Still no more. Wait, what should a thief do? Still no more. What's that called, King? Just, just hold on, hold on. What's that called? What he just did? If he if he was a thief and now he not stealing no more, what did oh, he do? Repentance. Thank you. Repentance. Right. So what's repentance according to the Bible? Oh, yeah, it says, what's well, easy to say? Your sins be forgiven. Oh, hold on. You going you going too far? Stay right here. What's repentance according to the Bible? You never walk. That's what's forgiven. Right. Make it plain so I can understand. This you, brother was read it again. Verse twenty eight. Let him. That stole still no more. This is what this, this this is this is how you teach repentance. If I'm talking to a thief, if I want to teach him repentance, what do I need to tell this thief? Do I need to tell him drink the blood and drink the? You understand what I'm saying? No, no, what do I need to tell him to do? He a thief. What do he need to do? Thank you, thank you. He need to stop. No, this this step is stop stealing. What more what more step you need? Right. What more step you need than that? Stop stealing. Come on, bro. If I come to your house, right? If I king, if I come to your house. All right, listen. If I come to your house, king, I sit down for dinner. You go get the food. I, I I I take I take your I take some money off the table. I put it in my pocket. You gonna tell me I gotta eat the flesh and drink the blood? 
That's what you gonna tell me? Bring it out, bro. Come on, bro. You know you're not gonna tell me that. You're gonna tell me, give me my money back. Right. Where my money go? Where my money at? That's what you're gonna say to me, right? All right, so stop going super deep, man. We staying real simple so that everybody can be edified. That's right. We are teaching repentance according to the Bible. Right. Our people need to repent. We got a lot of thieves out here. You understand? Right. It's a lot of murderers out here. Right. Right. You understand? It's a lot of whoremongers out here. Right. We got to learn how to repent. Can I say something? What you got? I would say if you slow to speak quickly. Listen, you're doing a lot of talking, but you don't know what I know either. And, and Ecclesiastes when, chapter and five. I say something about repentance, Jesus said out his mouth, What's easy to say? Your sins be forgiven or to get up and walk. That means if you sin it, stop and get up and carry on with your life and stop doing it. That's right. what you're saying. And then and then what did he after he said uh uh get up and walk, right? Yeah. What was the last thing he told that brother? Told him, don't do it, he said don't sin no more. Thank you. <laughs> What's sin according to the Bible? You understand? Drop, drop that. Sin according to the Bible. You understand? Because the last thing I, I agree with you. He said, what's, what's easier for you to do? Is it easier for you to, for, for me to say, say don't forgive or get up and walk, right? Get up and walk. What was the last thing he said to that brother? Don't sin no more, bro. That's what we're teaching according to the Bible. Read. The book of First John, chapter 3, verse 4. Bring it out. Whosoever commit of sin. Commit of what? Sin. Transgressive also the law. So we need to know what the law is so I can tell you not to break it. You understand? The law says, thou shalt not steal. I need to tell you, don't steal. You understand? The law says, thou shalt not commit adultery. So what do I need to tell you? I need to tell you, to avoid fornication, you need to get married. Get a wife. Take care of her. Don't cause the land to fall to whoredom. You understand what I'm saying? That's repentance, according to the Bible. Read on. Transgressive, the law. For sin is a transgression of the law. Right, so the Bible says that sin is the transgression of God's law. Most of us today don't know God's laws. Right. You understand? Tell me a law that you know, King. I know you know some. Have you ever been married before? Okay. That's a law. That is a law. Something else. That's general. Give me something specific. Uh, I'm going to give you one. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Bring it out. Right? I'm going to give you a law according to the Bible. We are here not to tear you down. You understand? We are here to build you up. The only way that I can do that is if I show you where you're in air. Right? Then I got to correct you, bring you back to the way. Because this is the way right here. You agree with that, right? The Bible is the way. We might differ, but... If I'm reading the Bible, you're going to say, oh, he reading the Bible, I got to get in order. You understand? If I'm out of order and you bring the scriptures to me, what do I got to do? I got to get in order. You understand what I'm saying? I agree. Your, your walk with God might not be far as they walk with God. So you can't tell somebody what your level to jump on because it, it don't matter. Because if you ain't on that level, you're not going to comprehend where you're at anyway. I'm going to take it back to, I'm at your house, right? Yeah. You understand? I'm at your house. You go get the food. I take your money off the table. I put your money in my, po in my pocket. You come back, your money ain't there no more. You understand? You're going to tell me, you're going to correct me differently because I ain't on your level. And you're going to tell me to give your money back. Exactly. So that's the same thing that we're doing. We just, I, I, if I see you, or I see her, or I see him, you understand? And they in sin, the time is ticking, right? Hold on, the time is ticking. What's that time for? That time clock. Because Christ don't even know what. He don't know when he's coming where. He knows when he's coming back. He knows when he's coming back? I can show you where it says that. Christ knows, where, Christ knows when he's coming back? Of course he do. It said, when you see me, you see the Father. No one knows the Father. You got something? If Jesus let, said, let me no, how no, you no, understand no. something, King. My name is Jonathan. Okay. Let me how you understand something. Ezekiel 3, verse 17. The brother is painting a very plain, a very plain, a very vivid picture, right? It's plain and simple. What day you go to church? I don't go to church. You don't go to church. So where have I'm you a, learned? I'm a high priest. Bro. Where you a high priest? Yeah. Who made you a high priest? God made me a high priest. I'm God, that man God made Jesus Christ the high priest. Yes, right. How are you the high priest? Right. High That's priest. false. That's well, false. Just, just listen. Go, go King, 6, I got you. Hold on. I'm going to go to Ezekiel chapter 3 first. Watch this. Read. 
the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. Read. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. Who's the son of man? Who's the son? You are the son of man. I know, and do you know what the Bible That's says? I was waiting the for wicked to. flee when no man pursue it. Nobody's chasing you while you're running off. Come back. Flesh, come back, come back, come back. Give me the flesh. You know Save my life and give me the flesh and the blood. Give okay. it to me. I'm gonna show you. Give it to your brother right here. I'm gonna show give it you. to your brother I'm right give here. It to you. Give it to all of us. I'm give it, it to you. Give it right now. Revelation 2 7. Give it here right now. I'm giving it to you right now. No, no, no. Not Revelation 2 7. Give me the flesh that, that's and the part blood. Of the give flesh it and to me. Give it to me. I gotta show you what it is first. You don't understand what the flesh and the blood is. I know it is. You know how? You know how? I know you don't understand that. The flesh and the blood, you don't want no parts of that. Right. Because you ain't wearing your fringes because you don't know what sin is. You know what the flesh and blood is? Jesus dying on the cross for your sins. That's right. Right. So that you can have mercy. Right. You don't want no parts of the flesh and the blood. Bring it right. up. Because you covered in the blood of Christ right now as you put him to death afresh. Right. That's what you're doing. Jesus. You you crucifying Christ like the Edomites did. Right. That's what you're doing. Stay here and listen and be taught. Humble yourself no, like the man, scriptures that, that you just quoted. I'm the son of man. You don't listen to me. Listen, I, read. I can do miracles. Verse 17. Uh -huh. Son of man, come do a miracle and get your people up out of America. Bring it out. Get your people up out of captivity. Teach. Do that miracle because that's the only one that matters right now. That's Bring right. Read. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman uh -huh. unto the house of Israel. You blacks. Hispanics and Native Americans are, in fact, the house of Israel. That's God right. made the, his sons who studied this Bible, who applied the laws of it, who have stopped sinning according to the Bible, to come out and teach and command his people to do the same thing. We're not the pastor if full of sin and condemning his congregation. No, we have repented from our sins, and we have studied the laws of God, and we have in turn trying to come come out here to try to show you the same thing so that we can all come out of captivity right. so that we can all not die and be put to death when Jesus Christ returns. Now they will see the treatment of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites. Oh, that's Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.